Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to needle fill a cat's paw. Before I get started with the process, I want to go over the term felting and some safety rules. So, what is felting? Simply put, felting is a process of a wool or hairy fiber that is being packed or tangled together to form felt or felt-like structure. Now going into the safety rules, always position your fingers so that the needles won't poke your finger through the wool, like how I'm doing in the video. Have the needle going away from you, not towards you. And if you're poking the needle in a certain angle, always remove the needle from the same angle. This will prevent it from breaking while you felt and potentially injure yourself. Lastly, this is not a safety rule, but if you want to separate the wool, don't grab it too tightly and closely because the wool is going to fight back to stay attached. Instead, grab it lightly with your hands far apart. For the materials, you will need a pad or foam, a felty needle, you just need one, and some wool. The colors of the wool that you will need are up to you, but I will be using white for a cat's paw and pink for the toe beans. If you are able to get finger guards to prevent poking yourself, that would also be really helpful. It's okay if you don't have any, but you have to be extra careful and mindful of where your fingers are. First, gather some white wool and roll it into a heart shape as best as you can. You want to poke it with the felting needle to bind the wool together and make it more firm. Here, I am just starting out with a single needle because I'm working with a smaller scale project. If you want to use a bigger one with more needles, make sure you're wearing finger guards because those take more effort to felt. You want to keep in mind that the wool will shrink in size, so you should get a bit more wool than what it initially looks like before felting. For this step, you don't want to fully felt them so that you can still connect more wool together. The more you felt, the firmer the wool gets and becomes harder to reshape or manipulate. But at the same time, you don't want it to be too loose so that it can retain its shape for the most part. As you keep felting, this is what mine looked like after about 20 to 30 minutes of felting. For this step, you want to felt four smaller oval or circle shapes and connect everything to make it look like a cat's paw. Don't worry about the paw looking smooth because we will be going over the cracks or bumps that you may have in the next step. Also, it may look like I'm getting this done fast because it's edited and I sped the video up. In reality, this whole process took me at least two hours. Don't forget to take breaks in between because I know your arm can get tired from doing this for so long. As you keep going with the positioning and felting all four parts of the paw, it should look similar to this. Again, don't worry about everything looking perfect because we still have a lot of room to fix it in the next steps as you keep working. Get a thin layer of white wool and felt over the paw to make it smoother. You can felt more wool as needed to make the shape how you want it. I'm just covering the entire paw with a layer of thin wool and in between the cracks as well. In this step, you will be felting some pink wool in the middle of the heart shape from step 1 for the palm. This can be any shape you want, but I'm making it into a slight oval shape. You can use a thin layer of pink wool and add more as you work to build up the volume. Felt four smaller pieces of pink wool for each bean onto the paw, similar to the previous step. It's better to take small pieces of wool first and then add more if you want. You can add onto it easily but it's hard to take it away after felting them in there. You can always reshape different areas to your liking. And with this step, you're finally done. 
I hope that you didn't accidentally poke your fingers with the needle. I ended up turning this into a keychain and you can make it into a necklace, pin, or earrings. Let me know if you also want to see how to turn these into keychains. Good luck with felting a cute little cat paw. Thanks for watching. Bye!